Hello and welcome to the Little Netsuke channel. This time we'll take a look at Yomi-chan. We'll install it, set it up and start using it. So by the end of the video you'll be ready to tackle those tricky online texts. First up for the download there's a good information page on uh, foosoft.net forward slash projects forward slash Yomi-chan. If you want more detail on the tool this is a really good place to go and by clicking on installation you can find links to the different versions uh, whether for Firefox or for Chrome. Today we'll go for the stable Google Chrome version and install is as simple as clicking the link then clicking add to Chrome in the web store confirm with add extension and then wait for it to install. You'll get an install confirmation message when it's done just like this. After a successful install you'll also be shown a basic usage guide. We'll be going through this stuff next. Before we're able to start using Yomi-chan we will need to set up dictionaries uh, on the extension. To do this you simply go to the icon in the browser toolbar, left click and then left click on the cog. For now we'll ignore all the profile translation and other sections and skip straight to dictionaries. While there are currently no dictionaries connected with the Yomichan extension we can start adding them using the import dictionary button. However you may need to first get the dictionaries onto your computer. Yomichan actually offers some uh, files, uh, you simply click on the download free dictionary section, it'll take you to the Fusoft Productions website, you navigate to dictionaries and choose the dictionaries you want. At the moment we'll download the files for the jmdict, jmnedict, kirekek and kanji uh, dict. Once they've downloaded and added into a folder um, you, we can go back to the Yomichan settings and click import dictionaries. Navigate to where they were saved, highlight all of them and click open and then we just wait for them to load in. Now with our dictionaries ready to go there's just one setting we need to enable, Anki integration. When you click enable you get a bunch of options to set up the integration but before we're able to do this we will need to do a little setup in Anki as well. There's currently no deck information from our Anki program on the desktop. Yomichan has made this pretty simple for you. Simply click the link here and copy the long number. Then we go to Anki, we click Tools, go to Add-ons. Once you click Get Add-on you simply paste the number into the code field and click OK. As it says for it to take effect you do need to close and reopen Anki. When that's done simply refresh the Yomi-chan setting page. And now you can set up how the notes will be added. Under terms and deck we'll select Japanese sentences. Uh, for the model we're selecting the note type we want. Then choose the values for the front and back. There's a lot that you can add um, but for now I think we'll have the sentence and for the back we'll put the summarized glossary. Right now that's done we're ready to start using the extension. So let's give it a go. We'll test it on the Japanese NHK news website, jump into any article, choose a term to look up. Here's one so let's look up simply holding shift and highlight the term to look up. You can hear the pronunciation by left clicking on the speaker icon in the right corner. Jishuku. To add this term as a note to Anki you click the green plus icon big plus will add a note using the settings we set up under terms and the smaller one will add a note based on the settings put under the kanji 
option. And then when you've done the adding, you can browse the note in Anki. You can make any alterations. Um, and it's very easy to find it. You just use the Yomichan tag to filter out to Yomichan notes. Obviously, if you use Yomichan a lot and you add lots of cards into Anki, this list may get quite long. So an easy way to manage this would simply be once you have got the, the note as you want it, you can simply delete the Yomichan um, tag out uh, and put some other more descriptive tags in place instead. So that's the Omichan. Uh, you should now be ready to sort of get going and start using it. There is a little bit of setup, but it is pretty straightforward to do. And there's plenty of um, things to help and descriptions on the website and on the extension itself. Quite simply, this is an amazing tool. It really allows you to tackle higher level texts online with much greater ease. Um, as well as saving you time by allowing you to add notes at the press of a button. And as you can see, this extension is totally free, but if you do like the tool and want to support its creator, then there is a donation link at the bottom of the settings page just here. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and good luck with your studies. Matane.